Hey, what's going on guys? It's Daniel here as usual, and uh, today we're going to be continuing the Unity 3D tutorial series that I started last week. And in today's episode, I'm just going to be continuing along with what I had stated at the end of the previous episode, and that was possibly making things shoot around. I think I used those exact words, so we're going to get started right now. So if you remember from uh, last week, we, we basically just had a moving character and yeah that's really all you can do you can fall off the platform and that's about it uh... so yeah that's not really that fun and so we're gonna make it more fun we're gonna make it so you can shoot things because that is fun so anyway um... i'm gonna go ahead and you should still have your player movement script go ahead and open that uh... give it a second okay there we go So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some more variables to our script. So I'm going to go ahead and just enter twice to kind of have a separation of our different variables. The ones that are on the top are going to be the ones controlling the player. The ones below that are going to be the ones that shoot stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add var projectile. And you can name this whatever you want, but for the purpose of this tutorial, I'm just going to call it projectile. And this is going to be something called a game object. And this is something I'll explain in a, in a little bit, but what we're going to do next is we're going to do var travel speed, which we're going to make an integer, which will make equal to 50 for right now just to start and we're going to do one more and it's going to be a bullet spawn and this is going to be a transform which I should have explained in the previous tutorial what a transform was this is just the the variable form of it so what we're going to do next is we're going to go to function update so right here and at the bottom we're going to go ahead and enter twice to separate stuff. I mean you don't have to be doing that but it just makes it look nicer if you're going to be coming back to this kind of thing. So inside the parentheses we're going to put input dot get mouse button up. And then inside those parentheses we're going to do zero. So what that's going to do now is it's going to be checking to see if we input on the mouse button 0, which should be the normal clicking mouse button, the uh, left one. So then what we're going to put inside of here is similar to what we did last week with the var controller. We're going to be doing something similar to that for instantiating objects. So we're going to do var bullet. And it cannot be the same thing that we have up here, so it cannot be projectile, it has to be its own name. And this is going to be a game object, which is going to be equal to instantiate, and then parentheses. And inside of here we're going to put projectile, so this is going to be instantiating our projectile. And then here we're going to put bullet spawn dot position and then comma and then we're going to do the same thing bullet spawn dot rotation so what that's going to do is it's going to whenever we put our bullet spawn in the transform variable inside of unity it's going to whenever we hit the mouse button it's going to spawn our projectile at the bullet spawn position and the bullet spawn rotation. So if we saved it right now, constantly save, that's the best thing you could possibly do. If you don't save it and it crashes and you're going to be very angry. Especially whenever you got, you know, a script that's like a few thousand lines long and you didn't save it. Uh, bad experiences. Anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and minimize that real quick. We'll be coming back to it in a second. And we click on our player character and we scroll down to the player movement script, we'll see that we now have projectile, travel speed, and bullet spawn. So I'm going to go ahead and create 
uh, a, uh, a, a sphere that's bullet-like. I'm going to name it projectile. And then I'm going to do, I'm just going to move it to the central point because I just like working from there. Slide it up a little bit. And I'm going to scale it down a little. So I'm 0.25. And then just paste that in everything else. So there, we've got a very, 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 well, not very, uh, small sphere. So what this is going to do now is it's going to be our little bullet thing. But there's one more thing we have to add to it. And that is the rigid body. So we're going to go ahead and go to component, physics, rigid body. Make sure you have this selected and it will attach it to our object. This just gives it gravity, which we're going to need, or else your your bullet won't do anything. Yeah. So, there we go. And we're going to go ahead and create a prefab. So, an easy way to create a prefab is just to take your highlighted object in the hierarchy and just drag it into the project panel. And then it'll put like this little blue cube, and it'll have projectile, and we can drag as many of these out into the scene as we like. But we're not going to because that's really pointless and we don't need that any. So we've now got our bullet. And we're going to need the spawn point for it. So I'm going to go ahead and do game object, create empty. And this has nothing on it. It's just a position in space. And that's exactly what we want. So we're going to go ahead and name this bullet spawn. bullet spawn there and I'm going to go ahead and attach it to the player so now we're going to position it inside of the player so we're going to want to move it on the Z axis so it's in front of our player or actually better yet this is just for tutorial purposes so we'll put it above him so it's easier to see and so now what we're going to do is go back to the player object scroll down to have the player movement script in full view and for projectile we're going to go ahead and drag in a projectile prefab and then for the bullet spawn we're going to drag this the bullet spawn and and put it right there so then what that's going to do is if we go ahead and hit play move out of there it's dropping little things but that's not what we wanted, right? We wanted it to like shoot in a direction. And this is, the only thing this is doing is just creating little rolling balls, which is a little strange. This is not a very good concept for a game. So if we go ahead and stop that, we're going to go add the last piece of code that's going to give it force. So inside the if statement that we created for the if input dot get mouse button up, we're going to go ahead and enter, and we're going to do. bullet dot bullet dot rigid body dot add force and inside the parentheses we're going to do it transform dot forward comma uh, and then multiply that by the travel speed. So what this is going to do is it's going to add force to our object. So now what we're going to go ahead and do is go back to Unity. No errors. Okay, here we go. Test. So as you can see, it's falling a little bit in front of me. So I'm going to go ahead and do this real quick. Drag the game thing over there. And if we hit play... You can see it's ever so slightly falling forward. So we do have force to it, but it's not doing a whole lot. Anyway, this isn't like gun physics, so, because you know guns shoot a lot faster than that. That's just kind of throwing them at the ground. It's like a rock throwing simulator. So we're going to go ahead and do about uh, 1,000. That sounds about right. It's going to shoot pretty far. We go ahead and hit play. Yep, there we go. It's lobbing them a lot further now. Just to prove it. Pew, pew, pew. So yeah, there, we've now got like some kind of strange spawn sphere throw off a cliff simulator game thing. 
still not worth money. So, yeah. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, any suggestions for the next tutorial, please leave them in the description. Um, yeah, I can't really think of anything else to do. That, that was really just all that we needed for this tutorial. And uh, yet again, I'd like to thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next week. Take care.